What is good, my good people? Welcome to Cocktails and Takeaways. It is episode three. And it's your girl, Madam Joyce, in the building, and we back. Yeah. We back, baby. Yes, we're here for episode three. Thank you so much for tuning in. And of course, I have a very special guest. She was here last week, ready to go again. Gang, gang. Ready to go again. Gang, gang. Looking 10 out of 10. ten. Bars. <laughs> Spitting bars. <laughs> it's Ayo for the soul, bars. baby. Pew, pew, pew. It is again. Ayo for the soul. <laughs> she back again. Hey, listen, I'm ready for this week. <laughs> I'm ready for this week. I just want to say thank you so much for all the love we've been getting on episode two, man. Yeah. It's been crazy. But we're back again and we're back coming again. bigger and better. Obviously, last week, Ayo for the soul came in the pink. Now she in the white. In the white. All angelic and that. Look at all angelic and that. Hello. So how's your week been? What's good? What's popping? Like Joyce said, it is Ayo for the soul. So, and yeah, my week has been good. I've been chilling, you know, good vibes. Thank God that I'm alive and safe. We thank God. We th- thank God we're safe. Yes. Thank God we're safe because apparently they're coming for the blacks. Because of what? They're coming for the blacks <laughs> because of Euro 2020. Because, no, guys, but on a real though, we are upset that unfortunately uh, England did not win the Euro 2020s this, this year. But what I am upset about is the fact that the constant abuse, the abuse, I'm not understanding it. They need to I'm get not a grip. understanding it. First of all, shout out to England. I must say, like, I did watch the game. I'm not a football person. I did watch the game. Shout out to the players. Shout out to the players. Fuck England do you know what all. I mean? Do you know how um do you know how deep it is to have a whole nation carried to carry on your back? Like it's so so deep. Mm-hmm. And the fact that they were able to do that all the way to the finals with the constant abuse, the constant pressure, like you lot need to give people some so there's some big Big be- belly bills that have a lot to say about how the footballer Get footballers are playing, tree. but you can't even the bus you can't run for Damn. to walk up the stairs you're <laughs> huffing and puffing, but you want to critique the skills mm. of people who train in and out every day. Nineteen year old and nineteen year old baby boy Saka, Saka like ugh, 19. like. Can you imagine that they pressure you up. had? Now, th- I don't I, I don't know football too tough, but I think that was way too much pressure for him. For 19, 19 year old. years that, old. That was his first time from what I read. That was his first ever like penalty big, or something oh. like that. Like, because I know at the last round, they have they had to like... They had the penalty, yeah. yeah. That, I think that was his first and time. And the thing is, sure. his was a make or break. His one was like, it's either we, we draw and then we go to the next stage oh, that or was that it. was it. Oh. That is so much pressure. <laughs> that is so much pressure. I don't watch football, but my heart was doing. Well, do, 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 do you know do. what? I was sleeping when the whole thing was happening, and I remember I woke up and then I watched it on my like on people's snaps, and I saw like when it hit the post. Was it? Was it no, that was that was um, Rashford. Was Rashford. That Rashford? Oh, yeah. it was Rashford's one. That mm-hmm. Rashford's one that I saw. So what did Saka's one like miss it then or what? No, the uh, goalkeeper collected it. Did he not? <laughs> <laughs> the goalkeeper collected it now. His one was so basically, um, Italy had scored, yeah, the previous one. Oh so no. basically, this one would have either drawn us oh, or lost us. It's the Rashford third one that I saw there. That's crazy. I saw that one, yeah. Everyone looks so disappointed. But I was, oh, I'm disappointed. That I'm one disappointed. was disappointed. That one was a big girl. I can't lie, but I don't fuck with all the racist stuff mm, that people are doing. Definitely. I don't like that. And this is why England does not deserve good things because it's like if. If someone loses and the first thing that comes to your head is skin color, there's something wrong with you. There's a problem. There's something the wrong with you. The thing is, they only want to think of the team collectively when everybody's winning. Yeah. When everybody, when they're losing, they now remember, yeah. oh, it's the black players. Yeah. It's the black players. And that's why I feel like they set them up because I, from what I read, because like I didn't watch it, but from what I read, it was the three black players that, that missed the shots. No? Yeah, it was. It was. It was. They set them up. That's why I feel like they set them up. Like, it makes no sense to me. I think that they had the potential to score, but yeah. I don't know. Again, I don't really know football too mm. tough. I'm just saying, if I was in that situation where I had a whole nation on my back, I would have been pressured. Me, I, the ball would have probably rolled, rolled, <laughs> rolled that way. They would have rolled that way. No, but shout out to them, though, because at this moment, I can't. I can only imagine what they could be going through right now, knowing that all pe- that people in England are just spewing. Evil it's disgusting. Word. It's disgusting. And the thing is, I really hate that. It's like, do you know how many foreigners carry England on their back? England was made on the backs of foreigners. Let's even England going back to was made back. on the yeah. backs of foreigners, particularly black people. And I find it so Facts. interesting that we are only British when we're needed. We're mm. British when we're winning for them. We're British when we're creative for Very them. So. We're British when they're profitizing off us. Yeah. But then when we're losing, or, or when we stand up for ourselves, 
all of a sudden we're not British anymore, we're yeah. African. Yeah. I don't fuck with that. Yeah. I don't like that because yeah. to be honest, if you really think about generally how England was set up, England was set on up the backs. on the backs okay. and the slavery of other people. Literally. Of other foreigners, 100%. Literally. So I'm just thinking, you know what, yeah. It's, it's disgusting is, It is what it is. But do you know what? I think one thing that I'm mostly sad about, sadly, is that all the man them, all the bet Fred money. <laughs> we didn't get to see the bet Fred money. All the accumulator monies, we didn't get to see it because I was looking to spend some of this dough. <laughs> all the money that you are accumulating on Sky Sports tr- <laughs> trading, you didn't get it. Nah. Do you know what? On Snap, yeah, Snap was the funniest thing. I just saw my men's tears up and down. Oh, Blood just, in what? their eyes. Blood That's what I was just watching. I, nah, because even after they lost, like, it's so crazy that racism is a normal thing for black people now because even when, like, the black people, like, the black players started, like, kind of, like, missing the goals, mm-hmm. I started seeing snaps, which I found funny at the time. Yeah. But now that I look back, at, back on it, it's not funny anymore because it's, like, once they started, like, missing the goals, it was a thing where they were, like, oh, all the black people at pubs go home now. At is that what they were saying? Yeah. I saw no. bad tweets like that. Go no. home, even snaps. If you're in the pub and you're black, go home now. At first, I found it funny, but when I started seeing videos on Snapchat of white people attacking black people, I was like, "This isn't actually funny. It's crazy because we've normalized it now. It's like, like you expect it. Like you know that if they lose, we're gonna get the blame. So I don't know. It's it's crazy, man. This is why England doesn't deserve good things. No, until they don't. You read they yourself, don't don't deserve good things until, until you read they, yourself of racism. Until they realize Ooh. that without black people without foreigners as a whole these english people they're nothing yeah. but really and truly yeah. all they do is tell people what to do like when you really think of how england england they don't have no skill or talent themselves it's only no culture go and do th- you go do this you they have no culture either no your culture. culture is off imagine can you imagine yeah the the staple english dish is a uh, is ma- a mashed peas no mash no, no it's peas. not it's um it's um What's that? Mash? No, it's the, it's an Indian cuisine. Chicken karma, stuff, chicken korma, something like that. Like it's I'm <laughs> really? telling you, like, literally the English national dish is a chicken korma, chicken balti, or something like that. Something Indian. I couldn't believe it, but that just goes to show you guys actually have no culture. Do you know what English people's culture is? Black S- pudding. S- no. <laughs> <laughs> Black pudding. <laughs> Oh, that's that's really nasty, by the way. That's really nasty. By you the think way. I don't know? <laughs> I was gonna say stealing other pe- people's culture is their culture. Stealing other people's culture that's is their culture. English culture. That's no. That's cap. English culture. That's, that's white people's culture. That's hundred anyway. percent. Yeah. That's their culture. I'm telling you. But even footballers, I don't really know many of them. I only know the fine words. The fine ones. What's this guy? Um, um Loftus Sterling Chicks- Raheem. Lo- Loftus Chicksos. What's his name? The fuck is that? <laughs> What's his name? Loftus Chicks. I ain't. <laughs> Jeez. I ain't what, never heard this, of that. Mi- this mixed race boy that plays for I don't even know who he plays, but that man is fan. Mm. Christian no, it's not Christian Lostus. Fam. Anyways, guys, Wayne comment Rooney. below. <laughs> that one guy's hair's his hair's re- <laughs> hair like I was gonna say receding, but that thing gone. That thing gone. Would you ever date a footballer though? Yeah. I mean he was a good guy, yeah. But are they? I don't know. They're, like, they're human beings, so... Yeah. I mean, they are human beings, but they're human beings on a platform with mm. money surrounded so by hungry be, bitches. Mm. I don't know, it depends on the individual, so... Like, Raheem Sterling, he seems to be a good guy. Yeah, like, I believe with he's all the married. Things that, really? I believe he is, he uh, is yeah. married. Uh, yeah. But, no, but even with him, with the free lunch school meals that he was doing... Yeah, he did good He with seems that. to be a good guy, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm with it. If he's a good guy, I'm with it. I think I'm, I'm quite scared to date anyone in media. Why? Because I don't know, I just feel like I see how girls react to people on TV and it just exc- it's, I'm a very jealous person. It's like, mm. babe, why are you so excited? But I feel like that's when trust comes into it. But I ain't got no trust to see. <laughs> I got commitment <laughs> issues. <laughs> and I try to fix that for you. <laughs> I'm done. Oh, wow. <laughs> trust issues. <laughs> Oh wow! I tell you, I got trust issues. I think it'll be difficult really? for me to date footballers, mm. rappers, anyone in media. Oh, yeah, it because is a it's a lavish like, lifestyle. It's a lavish lifestyle. One, two, a lot of it that comes with, and not only just the fact that you know there's a lot of female attention, but also there's a lot of time that. I need to have as a woman like me. Mm. I like a lot. I like mm, attention. Time. I like attention, but mm. you know them type of guys. They're probably busy twenty four seven. Imagine like dating a footballer. This guy's training six seven days a week. Mm. Then when he wants to go home, he just wants to sleep. sleep. 
it's yeah. like when am I gonna get that time mm, so I think it'll be quite so difficult true. for me to yeah, to date someone very, in media that's very true I didn't even think of that to be honest. I'm telling you but another exciting thing on the media this week was ZZ Mills I saw her speaking <laughs> As she does. <laughs> no, no, no. Look at me. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I really like Zizi Mills, but this week. Do you like her? I, I, I have a love and hate, love and hate thing. With I agree. Her. I agree. I have a love and hate because I, I do agree with some of the things she says, but yeah. some of the other things she says, I'm just thinking Zizi. Like it's not the time. But I want to say she's very beautiful, by the way. Do you think? I think she's gorgeous. No, she's a pretty girl. She's a pretty girl. But she was saying that basically, um, obviously there was an episode on Love Island mm -hmm. and um, Kaz basically came out in a bonnet. And what mm -hmm. she was saying is that she feels that women should ease into the fact mm -hmm. of wearing bonnets before mm -hmm. they, you know, when mm -hmm. they're dating guys, that they should ease into bonnets. Mm. What do you think about that? My, I, I saw that video. My issue with that video is that she's assuming that every boy is the same. Mm -hmm. there's some truth to what she said i do believe that you know it's not even like i believe that but i just feel like when you first you know when you're first caught in a dating a guy like you want to impress him so you're going to be looking on your top not behavior agreed but at the same time not all guys are the same some men don't give a fuck like some it's men are true. actually down they, to they, earth they, they, yeah. so my problem with that video is that she was basically like asserting herself that this is this is the truth. This is the fact where you can't account for everybody's um, likes and dislikes. But I do, I do agree that you know when you first meet a guy, you want to impress him and stuff like that. But at the same time, there are men that actually don't give a fuck. That they actually like you the way that you are. Let me tell you what my issue is with that video. I don't like that word "ease into it." Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's that thing is like, okay, cool. A man should see you looking your best and then ease into your natural state. Like that's your worst state. Yeah. That was my issue. What she was mm. saying because it's like me wearing a bonnet with no makeup that's my natural state so mm. why can't i be who i am and a guy would accept me yeah. why do i have to be a more enhanced version of myself yeah. for me to be accepted and then once he likes me oh he's gonna uh, he's gonna then accept the actual me i didn't like that yeah. because what is it, it, that's that sounds to me like self-hate that sounds to me like you're not comfortable enough in your in your natural, natural state. state with your hair bonnet yeah. on with your natural skin. I think so. You yeah. have to be a a, a better version mm. of yourself, and then hopefully, if the guy likes you, he might <laughs> accept you <laughs> when you're wearing a bonnet because you wearing a bonnet is like oh, you don't yeah. want to do that because who wants to look like them these days? Who wants to look like themselves these days? I Nobody. Do you know what? I think what she was trying to say is that men are, well, she kept on using the word, men are visual creatures. That's what she kept on saying. But listen, if you are comfortable with yourself, you won't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't, listen, let me tell you something. However I plate up, you will eat. I don't if give I a plate fuck. up looking like a sloppy Joe, <laughs> or I plate up looking like a five star meal, Absolutely. you will still chop. <laughs> and I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> like, I don't get... I, I, I didn't understand that. Okay, guys are visual creatures. Who told you I don't okay. look good in a bonnet? Okay. Who told you I don't look good in my silky, silky bonnet and my no makeup mm. looking like a natural Nubian queen? Why is it that natural state is the, is the lower tier mm. and men have to ease... Mm ease into that yeah. i didn't like that that's what i, I didn't it's, like it's shallow basically i think, I think it's, it's self-hate i think it's a shallow way to look at things because really and truly it's like when men see you looking all good and stuff like that do you think they think that's how you look 24 7 to be honest men are stupid i bet they do <laughs> i bet no i'm not gonna lie i bet they do no, no stop it 100 some of them are like nah, some of them some of them nah. some of them, some of them. <laughs> sorry sorry i had to, I had to men do not think you look like that 24 7 they just know that you know you carry yourself well and that's that's the first attraction mm. that pulls them in of but then course. them them actually spending time with you that's what actually keeps them yes looks gets you through the door but mm -hmm. personality is what actually keeps you so 100%. i feel like what she said was what she was saying was a bit shallow even though when you yes it's true when you first meet a guy you want to impress him, you want to look good of but course it's the context of my personality who i am inside that i think that actually keeps them so what she was saying it was it was for me it was a 50 50 thing i i, I agreed with it but i think it was a bit it's, it's not that deep and the thing is for me if 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 a man is with me simply for my appearance then i don't fucking yeah want him. it's not real because there are a lot of guys like that there are a lot of guys that mm. just like you on the basis of how you, you look, look because they want this trophy mm. but if you can't accept me looking like a fleeky deaky mm. and then on my natural state then then why are you here bye-bye why are you here yeah. because not all the time do i want to wear wig 
not all the time do I want to look like like a like a fly bitch. Mm. Sometimes I want to be natural. Sometimes I just want to be casual. And if you, why can't you? I don't understand why I can't be the two or and, why you can't accept me as both. And you know what? I also hate. I hate this um hate this thing that people have against bonnets or like anything that has to do with like um protective hairstyles. Yeah, I hate it. Like when like men don't like um braids or stuff like that it does boil down yeah to i see that i see that yeah. I, I talk, but the thing is again why are men in women's business that's the question why are men in, <laughs> why business, are in my business? business why are you in our business don't if do we want to wear braids if we want to shave if we want to shave business. our hair if you want to color it blonde if you want to color it blue what's your motherfucking business it's not if you like business. me accept me if As you don't keep it stepping i hate it's, it's not a thing where it's like men are not attracted to me but it's like why do why are men not attracted to certain things and then have an import don't talk if you don't like it keep it moving keep it stepping. keep it moving like Absolutely. it just doesn't make sense to me but then yeah. it really comes down to all this this constant pressure that 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 women have about how to look I and the thing as is as a black then, woman as well as a black woman and then women i'm gonna say women generally mm -hmm. because then these kind of conversations trail down to this constant we have to represent ourselves in a certain mm. way listen a guy can wake up in the morning with ripped pants <laughs> Ripped boxers. Ripped boxers. <laughs> trim jiggy jiggy jagger. <laughs> and no one's going to say nothing. But because I want to wear a bonnet. I'm ghetto. I'm ghetto and people have something to say. Yeah. These times, man, them, they crawl out of bed in the morning. They don't bath. I know some of you niggas don't bath. Don't come into my comments and talk don't shit. Don't change their bed sheets. They don't change their bed sheet. Absolutely. Acne's. No one talks about men acne. They be having acne. Oh, do you they know don't what? want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to talk about that, but they want to talk about us. No, do you know what I just remembered? Uh -huh. You know, Ol Oloni, Oloni. Yeah. Do you remember that um thread that she had when she was talking about like she was like, ladies, tell me all your like dirtiest um things like incomings you've had with men. <coughs> Some of these men don't wipe their bum. Oh! All these men are nasty. Had they had shit stay. Ah. Oh! You're talking about... That's what I say. There's some guys that will be talking about, oh, I like a woman that's not that? shaved. I like a... When, I don't like women that don't shave. But have you seen your bum? <laughs> have you seen the hair in your bum? <laughs> no, <laughs> big man too. You, no, but some men have some very hairy bums. <laughs> And the thing, hairy everything. Hairy, <laughs> yes. Get, get the flashbacks. Get the flashbacks. Because <laughs> you? you know what I'm talking about. No. no. Hair <laughs> down to their thighs. They don't have, they, oh. they don't have hair to their, they got I'm hair all the way down. Then you want to be talking about my armpits and my legs because of a two week, because of a two week mishap. You're talking about, yeah, why are you stubbly for? If you don't go and shave your bum. Oh, oh go, wipe it clean. At least go and wipe it go clean. and wipe it clean. On them clean. shit stains, bro. The, the, the reason the why fuck? it's not clean is because they have all the hair and the poo gets stuck oh, into the hair. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Yeah, I said it. I said it. <laughs> I said what I needed to say. I said what I needed to say. <laughs> yeah. Hilarious, fam. But that's the thing. Speaking of insecurities and everything, going back to that, th th there's another conversation this week with a Katie Price. Mm. And um, the surgery that she got. Now, she went mm. to Turkey uh, this week and she had, I believe it was um, something done to her face. She had liposuction. Mm. To her she face? Had, no, no. She had liposuction okay. to her body, rhinoplasty. Okay. She had like a full set. And obviously the media was butchering her. And she was basically saying, um, I remember I, I was looking at it on Good Morning and she was basically saying that how unhappy she was with the surgery and just making awareness. But it, I, I'm constantly in a thought of, the pressure that we have as women Society. to look good, even to the point where, because they made a very, very good point. The guy was like, um, bearing in mind it was COVID. She mm -hmm. did this in COVID, like mid COVID. So misplaced priorities. It, and yeah. it was a, it was a, you know, Turkey is a red area. Yeah. You went to a red area. Bearing in mind you got kids at home. Yeah. To take a risk to have surgery to then fly back, knowing that there's a potential that you and your kids could get COVID. Yeah, that is very... She she made an excuse on that, but it just, it made me think it's like, people don't really understand the pressure as a woman it is to look good. Yeah. And I feel like insecurities are very powerful. So powerful. They can drive you to do the craziest things. So I, I, I yeah, I, I, even though I don't get why she did it, I get that insecurities can push you. They I think even really insecurities, not just like you can imagine be having insecurities as us, you know, mm -hmm. regular girls, mm -hmm. but imagine being somebody who's in, in the media. Yeah. You can't even fathom 
how deep it is yeah because most of the time when you're talking about social media any woman in social media is always constantly being judged mm. by her looks no matter how funny she is no talented. matter how talented she is it really all boils down to she your looks. physical appearance as a woman that's and pressure. that's really really pressure yeah that is a lot of pressure to have as a woman <sighs> i just feel like it's a thing where I'm loving the season that we're in, in terms of how everyone is kind of embracing themselves for who they are. Yeah. So, y- you know, back in the day- This is the era for big, plus plus women are killing plus it. Plus women are killing it. Yeah. Trans Stretch women are maps, killing it. Everything. Um, I, alopecia women are killing it. Mm, what's like, that? alopecia when um, the hair like the, falls out oh, so the hair okay. falls out and they've stopped oh, hiding okay, yeah. they've stopped hiding in their wigs they've stopped hiding they've now been embracing themselves mm. and they're like okay cool i don't give a fuck what anyone Facts. thinks this is me and this is mm. who i am but i really wish growing up that those was the kind of examples that we had because yeah. for me as a black woman growing up in london mm-hmm. as a black woman was very yeah. very difficult because this was the time where black women weren't getting no love mm-hmm. and especially the fact where it was it was very predominantly Caribbeans so me being an African woman it was even worse so not only was I black I was also African fresh off the boat fob fresh off the boat always I I, I don't understand where that was going on because my accent is very much English I wasn't I wasn't quite sure back in the days it wasn't cool to be African it wasn't cool to be African when people are always talking about oh my god oh my god whiskey I'm just like shut up bro like you not (laughs) these days you were cussing us back in the day you were cussing us back in the day like I know some African people that were pretending to be Jamaican Jamaican Caribbean that was the I know enough people, I won't say their names, enough people that used to say, oh yeah, I'm half this, you're I'm half, half that. You are fully Nigerian, my they dear, shut lie, up. But then, the thing is, they would lie and say they're Caribbean, but yeah. then when you saw their name on the on the register, they'll be like, yeah, Oluwa, Oluwa, Bimbola. Like, Ola. <laughs> one long Nigerian one name. One long us Nigerian lying name. With their tribal marks. And can't lie, I, can't, I can't hide where you come from. It was, so, it was, it was honestly, it was so, so bad. And I remember having so much, a lot of self-hate. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, me being a black woman, I remember, and I was dark skinned as well. Mm. And on top of that, everything that people love now was once hated. Mm. I was dark skinned, I had big lips, I was very, very thick. Do you know how many people, like, it took me a while to start embracing my lips mm. just for the fact that when I was younger, people used to corn me for them. Like, that was my biggest insecurity when I was younger. Wow. It wasn't even, I wouldn't even say it was my skin color, it was my lips. People did not let me rest. They were like, oh, you bub- bubble gum lips, bum 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 lips. Big, like, they just used to call me, and I used to be so insecure. And it wasn't until I, because on top of that, I didn't even get any male attention too tough. It wasn't until maybe I was like 17, 18. But the thing is, is that those, um, those insecurities, they don't leave because they've been embedded into you. So I can see why growing up and mainstream media, how black women find it so difficult to love themselves. I really, really do yeah. because it's not that, like, it was like one day everyone decided to love us. One day everyone decided to appreciate us. I can relate to that 100%. You said yours was your lips. Mm-hmm. Mine was definitely my skin color. Um, to an extent where I remember I used to bleach my skin. At yeah. the age of 14, 15, I started bleaching my skin like, I was a lighty with the dark knuckles. <laughs> a lighty with dark knuckles. <laughs> dark knuckles. I was a lighty and I felt like being dark skinned wasn't just beautiful. And I've, I, it was something that was, like you said, embedded in me. Mm-hmm. This is why I feel like social media or television or ent- ent- entertainment is so powerful because I grew up watching light skinned women. Yes. I, I love Beyonce, but be- the likes of Beyonce, all these people that I used to, Raven Simone, the Cheetah Girls, all light skinned. Yeah. So I just felt like I wanted to do that, but I wasn't light enough. So I, I, the only way I could have a shot at that was to, you know, be light. So, and wh- even when I was in school, all the boys like the light skinned girls or the girls that yeah. were of light or light skin. 100%. So things like that, like what you said, is, is very true and very important. Like it, 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 it wasn't better than to me. And even, to this age that I'm in now, I still kind of struggle with my skin color. Like I, I, I naturally, I always find myself thinking, if I was lighter, maybe I'll be more attractive. And it, it's a really sad thing that we have to debunk. And I've, and this is why I'm so proud. And I, I actually very much love our generation. Like even though our generation is a bit tapped sometimes, I feel like I love the generation because our generation doesn't take things sitting down anymore. No. Like we don't, we don't, we we. 
we're not conforming to the social norms like we we don't take no for an answer and i really love that even with like all these plus size women all these people who are just standing up for the rights and for what they believe in like i am so proud of this generation generation that we live in yeah like so i would give that to them and just seeing a dark-skinned woman just doing your own thing it just it makes you realize even just us right now being on this platform that we are like do you know how many people that you're actually encouraging choice do you know how many you black- i are please no I, I, okay both of us do you know how many black girls are like little 14 15 year olds just watch other black girls older than us that and just just know that they can do it as well and this is why as an influencer as a black influencer i think it's it's important to be careful of your the content that you put out there as well mm-hmm. don't you think so, I don't yeah. know, like with these influencers that get BBLs, I know everyone likes to think that oh YOLO or oh, I I live my life the way I want to live it, but really and truly, your actions actually influence other people. Don't you think as well? Hundred percent. And let's talk about BBLs. Yeah. Let's talk about BBLs because a lot of women are getting them these days. Yeah. Do you say? Would you say that the 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 look for natural? appeal is doesn't exist anymore listen i think i think what is with this whole thing is i just feel like there's this fashion um what what can i say fuck i've lost it i think it's a phase i yeah basic boom that's it it's a phase and the thing is with with fashion and with beauty standards they always change they always change because i remember at one being slim was the thing slim now all of a sudden it's a big bump and you know what's so annoying people are trying to find this perfect body, but the perfect body doesn't exist. Never. Because I find it very weird that people are getting BBLs but are still editing their pictures. Oh, boom! That really, right on it. Com- that I was gonna say that me. literally. If you have to edit your pictures after getting a BBL, it wasn't you it. paid five, six, seven grand of a, for but because it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. That's the thing. I'm not gonna lie. I see a lot of BBLs and I'm just thinking. I see it in pictures. I'm like, oh, this nice. This looks nice. But then you I see it in real life, life and I'm like. Bruv, the body's wonking. It's really wonking. The body is just bending. It's bending. The, the waist bu- is the bending. Body is bending. <laughs> it's really bending. And I'm not even trying to slate women. A lot of yeah. women do it because they want insecurities. Wanna, insecurities. But listen, no matter how much you change yourself, if you are not fixing yourself within, it doesn't matter what you change on the outside. You're still gonna yep. want more. Which is why we have people like Katie Price mm. who have who are constantly looking for this ideal face because mm-hmm. they feel like the problem is their outward perception, whereas it's the inside of them that they need to deal with. Mm. Like, I'm telling you, you if you like, spend 100K if you're not happy on your within. body. If you're not happy within you, you are always going to see yourself as an ugly woman. Mm. You're always going to see yourself as unattractive. <sighs> and yeah. it's very, very sad. Yeah. But then my issue is that you're seeing these BBLs, you're, like you were saying about the influencers and the responsibility they have because people are getting BBLs and when you're getting these BBLs, you're telling the younger girls who have natural bodies um, that they're not, their bodies is not good enough. Yeah, Their bum is not big enough. Their breast is not big enough. So people are constantly trying to chase this Standard look and this image that doesn't exist. That doesn't exist doesn't exist at all i feel like if people had more of a consideration to the fact that their platforms is not just about them i feel like absolutely we would have a better society as women i don't believe i always i don't believe in your life your rules whether Mm. you like it or not your the the decisions you make affects the people around you 100 percent. 100 percent. like i don't care if you're an i know i know i know it's insecurities and i know it's like if you feel that way what can you do but really and truly you actually have a responsible to responsibility to the people around you especially the young people like you you these people actually look up to you so i even though i know it's not an easy situation because as as much i don't really have that much of a following but i get people telling me that you know all that that I encourage them to go to the gym and stuff like that. So imagine if I never took took the gym route. Imagine yeah. if I took the BBL route. Because you had lost a lot of yeah. weight. I used to be a fatty, guys. Oh, haven't we? I was a beautiful fatty. He was a confident ass fatty. No, yeah, I was say. a bold ass fatty. He I was a fuck. bold <laughs> ass fatty. Yes, she was. No, you did lose a lot yeah. of weight. But yeah. the thing is, one thing I love about you is that your, your personality hasn't changed. Do you know yeah. what I mean? You lost Thank the you. weight, but from when I saw you when you were bigger to now, yeah, you you still loved yourself. Oh yeah, definitely. And that's what is so important because even though, even though I did struggle with insecurities back in those days, but I just feel like 
if you're just confident in yourself within like you're always just gonna be you like i never let my weight stopped me stop me from being me Mm. i don't i just can't imagine like because i love to dance i love doing like all these little things and stuff but i just i at that age i can't look back and think oh because i'm big i'm gonna stop myself from being that but unfortunately not everyone thinks like that mm. some people's insecurities actually stop them from doing the things that yes they it's true it actually it's stops true them. and it's so, so sad i guess it's a gift it's a gift for me but you know it's just for other people i don't wouldn't really know what to say so it's a thing where they just need to search within and just talk to themselves or maybe get some counseling and stuff like that but yeah in this society that we live in image is such a powerful thing and it's you just have to make just try ways and methods to make it not get to you i guess i think what it is people need to come to the realization that it's not real a lot of a lot of social media is a facade and i feel like when people realize that the perception that people are painting they're just not quite accurate do you know what you'll feel better joyce do you think sometimes you play into it because i feel like 100 percent. do you know what with just what filters I play, I play my role into it yeah, with filters. I, I be a filter. There, there was a, a time where I had to stop using filters because I realized that I started not liking my real, real face. space. That's what I'm saying. Do you know what? I saw this article and it said that filters, there was like a spike in like um percentage like filters co- caused um body dysmorphia. Wow. So we all play a role in it. Do you know there's so many girls that are looking do you know how many do you know it's crazy? You know you know you never know how many people are actually looking at you, admiring mm. you. Like there's so many you go on there, like people that only come on socials when they look nice. Me, I'm I'm a Trump. I come on socials when I look nice with my head when scarf, I look bummy. with my wig cap. <laughs> nah for real. However you see me on the socials. I don't give up we don't me. give a fuck. Like, but do you know what? There are people that only come on socials when they look they they look done up. Mm-hmm. And it's like we th- those people they play a part in it we play a part in it too because i'm gonna be sitting there looking at the person that like, oh wow i wish i could be like this person not knowing that this person doesn't probably look like that in real life right or they're going through the fuck they're going through it they're going through it they're going That's through the it oh my god you'll be posted posted by inside you'll be in your corner you'll be like, <laughs> i can't like that be me sometimes though no that be me we outside <laughs> We, we are that. Woke up in the morning <laughs> thinking about so many things. I just wish it get better. I don't think I can remember, but I don't know how the ending goes. But that's how it be. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it. That's be. how life be. And I feel like sometimes just this is why it's so important to share with people. Don't you think? Because if if you share with people, it's like listen my life is not perfect and there's just something about letting people know that your life is not perfect that makes other people feel better I'm telling that's you. one thing i've realized when i let people so, sometimes i get friends i haven't spoken in a while and spoken to in a while and they're telling me oh i owe this i owe that i'm like nigga i'm going through it don't we're piss all me going off through it, bro. We're all going through <laughs> i have to tell them like listen this happened to me last week this happened to me two weeks ago stop there's nobody in this world that, that life is perfect even beyonce everyone looks up to her like this goddess but sis look at the whole jay-z thing sis be going through it but you never know you yeah, never know Listen, you if, never if, know if beyonce can get it we all can that's just that's just a sign if beyonce can get it we all can so that's anybody can get it that's what i'm saying <laughs> okay one thing i wanted to say to you okay quick swift conversation the situation with Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson. Mm. Right, so for anyone who's listening that doesn't know, essentially, um, it is believed that Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson are back together again. <sighs> so oh, Khloe no. Kardashian posted a very sexy picture in which her ex-boyfriend or ex-husband, Lamar mm. Odom, then commented with bare fire emojis. <laughs> and this dog, <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> this dog <laughs> now said, and I'm paraphrasing, he said, you were saved by God the what? first time. <laughs> the second again. time, I don't think it's going to be the same. <laughs> <laughs> Basically referring to his suicide attempt mm. or his um his um overdose. Uh, his overdose. I'm I'm trying to understand. That's Sh- mighty brave for, brave of him to That's say. That's mighty brave because the man is a boxer. He will box him. No, forget about the fact he's a boxer. How dare you have that confidence audacity. and audacity it's and true. tenacity? When you've cheated, not once, not twice, but but times, but times, 
You've cheated over. <laughs> and on top of that, no, 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 no. His one was disrespectful. Let me tell you why his one disrespectful. Mm. He cheated in house. He cheated with Jordan Woods. My uh, sisters no, always tell me what, something. Did they cheat or they just sat on their laps? They got a bit. Comfy. I think they did something. I think she got drunk and maybe they did something. Mm. I mean, he's a fine guy, but that doesn't change the fact. Mm. My sister always says, if a guy cheats on you, you will never find out. Wow. Listen, no, but, but deep it. If you're gonna cheat, yeah. If you're re- if you love someone, if you're trying to do hanky panky, yeah. If you're gonna cheat, you will go to Scotland. <laughs> so you will go to you will go far. <laughs> Listen, you will go far. Let me tell you something. Because you respect them, you respect I guess. the girl. Not only will you go far, but you will respect, make sure. Though? No, 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 no. But deep it, deep it, deep mm. it. You you know when you're younger, yeah, and you're trying to get away with stuff. Because you fear your parents. You fear your parents. You will do everything. You will clean the mess. You will clean it very well. You Just will make, to make sure, sure they don't find out. Fam, if a guy's to cheat, he will go to Wales. He will go to the other side of the city. Mm. Not only that, he will make sure the girl doesn't speak <laughs> English. Even if she wants to call you, she doesn't know what to say. Mm. She'll say, um, I, and... <laughs> Yes, he touched me and um, <laughs> we, fam, the girl should not even speak English. Mm. Like, that's like, if a guy yeah. really, okay, cheating. I'm 50, I, I, 50 Listen, I don't way, rate yeah. cheating. Let mm. me tell you something, I don't rate cheating. But what, but it's the disrespect that not only did you cheat, you cheated that. with her little sister's best friend. Mm. That one takes it to a whole disrespect. Another, another level. degree. Yeah, that's disrespectful. I can't that lie. is so disrespectful. Mm. But, I'm confused as to why he's back in, but Jordan doesn't get get that same reception. Fair enough, they have a child together. Yeah. It's very different when you have a child together. <clears throat> but I would never take a man back like that. Ever, 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 ever in my whole life. I mean, what, like that? In that context? It, or it, at all? Cheating at all. Mm. But actually, mm, that's it. Would you ever take... Okay, if you, okay you've been together... Okay, huh? Step, okay, okay. <laughs> you've been with your man for two years. Nah, two years is too small, man. You've been together for two years. You find out he's cheating. Are you taking it back? Can I can I explain myself? <laughs> not explain myself. Not explain myself. You haven't even answered the question, but I know where this is going. Carry on. No, 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 no. Let me I I just want to say something. I feel like in life, yeah, life is not always black and white. I wanna say, wait, hold on, 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 hold on. Because I feel like sometimes like no, not not in like a boyfriend and girlfriend, but in marriage. Are you talking about marriage context? Okay, let's talk about boyfriend and girlfriend. Boyfriend and girlfriend. Fuck off. Boyfriend. Two years. Two years. That's too small, man. I don't know. Is it too small? I don't know. It depends. That's what I'm saying. It depends. It depends. Okay. Is he remorseful? Does he ever do it again? Like, is he actually genuinely sorry? Is it like how did it happen? That's what I'm saying. There's factors. There's context. Like, what is the context? Or is he a reckless cheat? Does he cheat he all the time? He one time, but he did a full blown sex. He did a full blown sex with a girl. But what was the context? That's what I'm saying. Fam, it's not the fact of the matter. Is he <laughs> cheating? But what do you mean? What's the context? <laughs> okay, but <laughs> is that is he <laughs> remorseful? Is it is he something that he's never gonna do again? I mean, I say Sis. no to cheating. I'm saying no to cheating, but I'm just saying sometimes in real life situations, sometimes. I don't want to say things happen, but sometimes people cheat and then they learn, they, they never do it again. Like, they go through counselling, they... Do you get what I'm trying to say? But I'm talking about in the marriage context, though. I'm not talking about boyfriend, talking and about boyfriend, boyfriend and girlfriend. We're talking about boyfriend and girlfriend. Fuck off, fuck off. Absolutely fuck two, off. Y- two years. You've been together two years. Yeah, fuck off. Because that's... I'm never going to be able to trust you again. Yeah, the trust is going to be a matching still. That's the Bye. problem. But I feel like with marriage, like, sometimes it's not always black and white. You see people cheat, but then they get back together, they work it out. It's not always like, oh, if you cheat, that's it. It's for, for some people. Mm. Not me. For some people. I need to add that. <laughs> for some people. Not <laughs> for some, for people. some people. I'm just saying, because, you know, life is just, it's not always like, you could you and I could be in the same situation, but our solutions can be completely different. Absolutely. Do you get that's why I look at life at like, you know, two different perspectives and stuff like that. So yeah. to be honest, I say now that I probably I wouldn't take a cheater back, like if that situation happens to me, but then when you're in a situation that's different, you see when you love someone, yeah, you just you're just so stupid. You used to bang your head. You're just so dumb. Bang like seriously, head. like there's some stuff that I said I would never do that I've gone to go and do because mm. I've loved someone. Mm. So cheating is a thing where but I don't believe if, if a guy like I don't believe in cheating, but these days, how life is going... It seems like it's a norm. It's a normal thing. Man, them is cheating. Whether that's they're chatting to other girls... Oh. With, do you, Okay, if if a guy is obsessed with a influencer, 
would you think that's cheating? Ugh, if on in an unhealthy Obsessed way, in an unhealthy, would you say that's cheating? It's not cheating, but like, but it's like, I don't know. It's lost. Is it like lusting over her? Lustful and stuff? messaging and her, and that can ah uh, no. Would, there needs to be boundaries. I would actually say that's cheating. Yeah, you know? that's there needs to be boundaries, and you're kind. Of, it's not physically cheating, but it's like it can lead to something. So, else. what would you say is counts as cheating? Cheating not on you. No, because some people think checks texting yeah, emotionally. Not, sometimes you cheat on people emotionally. You can cheat well. on people emotionally. Like mm-hmm. imagine. You can mm-hmm. cheat on people emotionally, mm-hmm. but there's some people who think, okay, cheating is full blown sex. But mm-hmm. there's some people like, if you text another bitch, that's cheating. Would you find texting another bitch cheating? It depends on the way you're texting them. Like, oh baby, I want to off that's your very pants. Inappropriate. That's very yeah. So definitely, I want to do sex. That's very inappropriate. Yeah. That's cheating, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah that's cheating. Like some people. <clears throat> okay, would you say whining on a girl in a party is cheating? Ah. Uh, well, it's not cheating per se, but it's just inappropriate. That's cheating. When you're in a relationship, there's certain things you just there's cannot another do. woman getting your dick hard. Yeah. That is cheating. Do, do you know? I don't think it's cheating, but I just feel like it's disrespectful. Like you need to respect your significant other. Like there's certain things you just cannot do in a relationship. Do you get what I'm trying to say? You ca- listen. If I catch my man in the club whining on another Why girl i'm not going to beat her i'm going to beat him of course and that's another thing how come when i was oh my god i was watching this thing yeah so basically i know where i'm going and i agree i agree i was watching this thing i can't remember i can't remember what it was it was a youtube so basically this guy is a mm-hmm. youtube and he said to these two girls um the, these three girls message one of your boyfriends no call one of your boyfriends and say that we're coming up and see what he says and the stupid girl was getting angry at the two girls shit fam no 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 i need to tell the story <laughs> so basically the two friends call the one friend's the third friend the first friend's boyfriend yeah and like yeah you know we're trying to pull up or whatever and he's like oh yeah cool what's up don't tell don't tell any though don't tell any yeah and he's standing there she's hearing <laughs> And he's like, but I don't understand why you'd even call him. I don't know. You're two are supposed to be my best friends. And I'm thinking, are you dumb? Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Your man is the one that. Oh, I, I saw that. I was thinking. I saw that. And I thought, you, you know, girls are just fucking And stupid. you know what? Girls do that. And this is they my do. issue. Oh, and do. this is my issue with girls. If you cheat well. on me, I'm not gonna. Because let me tell you something. Yeah, let me tell you something. If a guy cheats on a, if a guy cheats with a girl, the girl has no loyalty or responsibility to you. She doesn't. Ah, oh, me and you she are the same people. She don't have any responsibility. To Facts. You. So you should be beating your boy. Facts. Beat, beat that nigga. I don't beat his ass. Facts. Beat him. Beat him. Smack him. Slap him. Absolutely. You're not gonna fight the girl because the girl she, she don't know you. She doesn't even. She most doesn't. Times they don't even. Know they, don't even they don't even. They don't even. Most of the. Fam, your man hid you, fam. He said that he he was he, he was rate you. he doesn't rate you. Let me tell you something. The guy went to the girl. Your man went to the girl and said, "Listen, I ain't got no girl. My ex was crazy." That's so disrespectful. Or sometimes they'll kill you. They say, "Yeah, my girlfriend died." You they will. This <laughs> he said, "You're dead, though." They will even kill you in, in the narrative. They will say, "Yeah, I died of cancer or some shit." They will actually. The guy RIP'd you to another Listen. girl. Listen. And it's the girl you're beating. Nah, you need to beat that boy. You need to beat his ass. That's as much. You as need I to love, beat his ass. Listen, as much as I love being a woman, that's my issue with girls. One thing about girls that I notice as well is that once they enter a relationship, they will men. Listen, women will pick men they've been with for two months over their female friendships they they've known it's for like true, seven you know. years. It's true, you know. I, I agree. really hate that. When I peep that, it pisses me off because you think these niggas will pick you. Over their their, their, their dogs. boyfriends. No, no, no. Let's not call them their dogs. That's their boyfriends. Do you think man them are picking the girl over their boyfriends? Nah, it's they're not. They're not. You you have to prove yourself to them. As in, you have to sweat to show that you are worthy. They literally man them men, are so men. loyal to their boys, fam. Facts. They but are women so loyal. are so quick to they're pick quick. to drop their female friends. And I think it's so toxic because most of these times these men they're not even bringing anything to your, to your life. I feel like sometimes you get. Dick. Apart from that headache, stress. After dick, what is there? <laughs> Nothing. And do you know what I always say? I feel like sometimes you get 
female friends that are even better boyfriends to you than your actual boyfriend because it's they don't true, add anything you know? to your life they just give you dick what else it's your female friends that are encouraging you that yeah. are supporting you that are there for you emotionally but to the nigga that you're seeing if you cry to him he'll be looking at you like this why are you crying i, I don't understand why you're crying still <laughs> nah 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 man up man why are you up, crying man up still man yeah. up man up and you want to be picking them same niggas over your female friends could never be me do you know what could i, could, I, I would love to say can never be me but i was i was that type of girl at the moment i was, I was that type of girl one time in my life We've changed. When I was we've younger, changed. we've changed. God has advanced us to the next destination, and we have level up. But I was, I was like, I was like nineteen though. Yeah, yeah, At that age, you're yeah. alright. But then when I grew up and I peeped that shit in girls, I'm just like, no. Nah. Until a guy shows me that he's worthy of being not just my boyfriend but my friend, mm-hmm. that's the only time I ever pick him over my female friends 100 percent. because sometimes i've had female friends that or i have been a better female friend or a better boyfriend to my female friends than some of the, their boyfriends it's true Sorry. it's true but the, because of that is it's, the I, dick I because the dick and the it's, sex it's the and the everything because a lot of t- a lot of men are useless like i'm not saying <laughs> okay let me not start with this man thing no <laughs> a lot of men are useless in relationships mm-hmm. Let, I don't want to give a percentage because I don't want to offend people. But a lot of men are used to relationships. But because of the dick, that one just completely co- completes everything for some women. They're dickmatized. It's not love. Mm. The guy doesn't do anything for you. The guy doesn't support you emotionally. The guy doesn't yeah. have money. He's sleeping on the f- he's sleeping on your floor <laughs> or your bedroom floor. His pants is teared. His <laughs> pants is teared. <laughs> and he's been looking for a job for the past oh. seven, eight months and hasn't found nothing. And you're there. And you're there Looking because like of bread. because of dick. But I'm I I, I don't want to say this, but broke niggas really put it down, man. Broke niggas. Of course, really they don't have anything to do. <laughs> broke niggas don't have anything to do, man. So, <laughs> so the, the energy, so the energy, they got the energy, bro. <laughs> Men that have money. Why are you doing doing ninety five? You think you have time? You think you have time? Why are you not doing ninety five? Of course, you have time to be to be putting it down on in bed. Fucking useless cuts. Do <laughs> 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 something. <laughs> Bro, man, have <laughs> the best dick. So I said it, I said it, I said it, I said it. Oh. No, but do you know energy. what? Can we talk about smash or pass? Right, Let's go. get into it. Let's get into it. All my black queens, I need you to be liberated Stop from going. smash Stop or pass. Going. Please. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. Because these niggas will really say 12. Am I a kebab? You really turn around. You say 12. They, just, they don't say please, though. Yeah, they say they turn around. Turn they around. say 12. And the, on these beautiful black queens, you now turn. Are you a kebab? No, but honestly, let me say something. Okay, cool. So Moses started the whole UK smash up. Shout out to Moses as well, my baby boy. But I, I enjoyed it. I'm not gonna lie. I oh, enjoyed this. I, mean, I, I enjoyed the first one because it was different, you know. And obviously, support support your people in it. I enjoyed it. That one was a bit, you know. It wasn't as. It, I don't feel like English people have the same energy as American people. So it's mm. never gonna be the same. Mm. You see, what? American people they're very shameless. Us, we have small, small shame. But then when I started seeing. A pregnant woman? Oh my god! <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Is it the UK one? The or UK one. Dude, the I saw one pregnant. Wait, babe. hold on. Let's not even talk about the one that was pregnant. What about the one that had the baby in her hand? And then she was saying, <laughs> "I'll smash. <laughs> I'll what? pass." That child. Guys, please. I know it's good to be confident, but have shame. Nah, have shame. I believe have in shame. shame. I believe in shame. I'm, I'm, I'm very shameless, but sometimes I have shame. I have small shame. I have shame. Personally, I don't like, like, I, I, I'm not a fan of the smash or pass things. I'm I not hate gonna it. Lie to it's you. just so. But deep. you have to think is rate into those girls because you have to have a confidence. lot of confidence to go in there. Uh, and I see some of those girls and I'm like, you know what? You got you. You're not quite there, but you got confidence. Yeah, you're bold, and I give you're you that. You're bold, and I give you that because me. If a guy was to walk past me and rejects me, I will jump. I'll go and cry in my bed. I will no <laughs> on the bed. I will cry on camera. <laughs> I will. You will see me as they're lighting up. You see me tearing, tearing, <laughs> standing there, tearing thinking up. About so many things. <laughs> thinking about so many things. I just wanted I to get would better. Cry. Absolutely. It's not me. You're gonna reject on Absolutely. camera. Absolutely. So that's one thing I'll give to these women they have boldness but it's like women like especially black women please you actually deserve way more yeah, than be lining yourself up especially as a dark-skinned woman like you know how much hate or like i, I it will never sit well with me t- seeing black dark-skinned women lining up like that because it's like it's the same black men that are always cussing us out so it's like why are you putting yourself in that situation even though yeah i know it's for entertainment but it just doesn't feel right to me when i watch it like mm-hmm. i actually get secondhand embarrassment and it's like why 
some of these men they will cuss you out and they'll look back to their boys because they want ratings you they know how ratings men are, are fucking like, waste man waste man pass man it's like one of these one of this guy one of the episodes i watched this guy was really cussing out these all the, the girls lined up i was like is your beard even connecting some of their bits some of them their voices were still high they're 20 year olds 19 year olds they're babies That's the thing, like, when, like, like big big women like us if no chat shit there was a girl that was 28 there there was a girl that was 28 on a smash or pass talking to these small 20 year olds yeah i'd hit that i'd oh, you need to fucking get a job man get a job i don't give a fuck <laughs> i really get a job bro get a job man i don't give a fuck <laughs> I don't give a heck. Wait, did she have the pigtails? I don't even know what she was. She was a quite slim girl. She was 20. She was like, yeah, I'm 28. Did she, did she have her hair? She was very skinny. She was very, very skinny. She's like, I'm 20. Yeah, I just said, I said, you're talking oh, about, these are your sons. Your sons. Your nephews. You're saying, oh yeah, you know, when I see you in a club, I'd hate that. I just thought, get this bitch. Get this grandma <laughs> out of here. Get this granny <laughs> out of here. She's not with her mates. What do they call that thing? The whole old people's home. <laughs> fam she needs to go and settle in one of those oh, homes bless her. and i get it's for entertainment but nah, fuck that. Like no, there's a level when i start seeing pregnant women to... when i start seeing pregnancy when i start seeing 20 the thing is if it was 28 if it was like a 25 plus yeah smash or pass these these are like 20 19, 19. these like still in uni my nigga these like still about to like, graduate I hit, yeah i saw that episode i was like oh, I sis. call the police <laughs> call the police there is a Molestation. predator. On, there is a predator on the loose. Like, this is, <laughs> how can you say call the police? There is a predator. Absolutely, on the loose because that one was out of order. Yeah, I did. But you know, what? shout out to all the girls. Now, honestly, real talk. Like, yeah. it's entertainment. I'm not gonna lie. When you're watching it as a person, you know, behind the screen, it's like, yeah, this is good, but. Yeah, scales. It's you enough. deserve more, it's man, enough. than it's to be lining and we don't yourself have the up. En- we don't have the energy that Americans have. Again, them mm. like, yeah, I'd, I'd put my pussy on your face. Like, we don't have that energy. Like, because the UK is bad vibes. They'll cuss you out. They will cuss. <laughs> Listen, you will not. If you say that in this UK, you will not live another day. <laughs> they will, you will cuss. Not live another the day. UK in you London. See, you will, we will catch you on Twitter. We will catch you on Twitter. Do you know what? There's some cringe shit that Americans, like black Americans, they always get away with. If you try that same shit in you London. Can't. Never. AKA bad vibes, they will cost they will run Listen, you out. And not just on socials on the street. You're done for. You're Absolutely. done. Absolutely. They will not they, there's still a there's a guy, yeah. Let me tell you a story. Was and it, the thing is, it, wait, you know <laughs> Listen, because this this joke has been running for, for the years. past. Like, the wait, one that ate the, the one that the one that ate the pussy on New Year's Eve. <gasps> oh they have not let this man live. I swear. I swear down here. That joke ran when I was like <laughs> seventeen, no, sixteen, and to this day, twenty three years old. Listen. Every New Year's Eve. They always they bring it up. Catch him. What's his name again? Was it Steven or something? Fam, the streets don't forget. The streets, the Twitter the streets, streets do remember. not forget. Listen, yeah. If, if you're bad, we will listen. We will never forget. Uh, uh, what about um Claire four one nine? Nah, Claire four one nine. Was it? What was Claire four one nine? Four one nine known for? Do you know who that is? No. Who's Claire four one nine? Shit. Who's Claire four one nine? Now there's something that she's known for last year. But anyways, the streets never forget. The streets never forget. Oh, don't oh, queen. The streets, the streets never, never forget. forget. The Always remember that forget. if you want to do something stupid, the streets don't forget. Somebody, the thing is, we will leave you, we will think it's over. One year later, somebody will run it back. That's <laughs> it. We will laugh for another four days. I swear. We'll be back again, for, we'll be back uh, again in seven months' time. London is bad vibes, man. I'm telling you, no, London is bad vibes, 100%. London is fucking bad vibes. Don't come here. Listen, I, I know we have a lot of people from the States watching here. Listen, this is bad vibes, man. Bad vibes. Don't think you can bring your bad bitch energy in America nah, and come here. They will con you, you boy. They will nah. con you. You think you can be, in, in America, you'll be like, oh, I'm going to put this, I'm going to put my pussy on your head. Listen, you can't they say that shit. You. you can't say that shit in London. Oh. You can't say that shit in this London. Why do you, why do you think that is, though? Do you think, because... I think we're quite conservative, you see. Yeah. We're a lot more conservative. And a lot of the black Af- or black people here were not first from gen. here. Yeah, we're first, yeah, first gen. gen. We're all first a lot gen. of them there, they've been there for like their parents, their grandparents, everyone is just Yeah, a lot here. of them are like five, six generations mm. in. Like mm. here we are most of us are Our first, first gen. gen. Except from like the Jamaicans, because Windrush and stuff like oh, that. Oh yes, but the Afri- the Nigerians mm. predominantly Our are first, first gen. gen. So we have a lot of our African patriarchal values mm. integrated and instilled in our system. Yeah. So we have a bit more shame and yeah. we are very... Yeah. Uh, can't do that, can't do that. Because certain things you do, oh, it's a wrap. It's a lock-off, it's a lock-off It's thing. a wrap. 
I sometimes I'll be on Twitter, I'm just like, yeah, I'm done for the day because the way they be cussing people sometimes. It's aggressive. It's aggressive still. It's aggressive. <laughs> it's actually aggressive. So but yeah, listen, God. London is London is bad vibes. But anyways, guys, guys, that's it for today, you know. Ooh, that was quick. Wasn't that quick? <laughs> hey, listen, another episode, another episode. Oh but guys, God. I want to say thank you so much for tuning in. You lot are fantastic. Of course, like, comment, subscribe, and tell us what is your takeaway. What's your takeaway, my good sis? What is our takeaway? Black girls, we need to love ourselves and know that we are powerful and beautiful from within. Listen, That's my cool. takeaway is don't go and disgrace yourself in this London well, city. Listen, look, I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> don't go and disgrace yourself in this London city. Because they remember, remember, before you do anything bad, the streets never forget. The All together. Streets, wait, the streets, streets never forget. forget. <laughs> say again, say again. The, the streets, streets never forget. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, guys, you got Iron the Soul in the building. Say your your social, say your social. Uh, My social, um, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, and YouTube channel is all Iron for the Soul. A Y O. Iron for the Soul, baby. Guys, what's your takeaway for this episode? Write it below. I'm going to comment to everybody. And again, thank you so much. Hey, episode three, baby. We out. We out. It's always a pleasure. It's Madam Joyce. 